PC Basics back at you with another video. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, and I hope you have a Happy New Year. Um, I am actually sick right now. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Been working, applying for jobs, uh, well, applied for jobs and got a job, switched to a different company. Anyway, I've been busy, and now I'm sick. I got a fever, but um, I got a special video for you. Um, you read the title. So here it is. Let's get into it. All right, so right here I got my Xbox One. We got the uh, HDMI plugged in right here. And we have it going into this converter. It's actually uh, made by On, which I believe is a Walmart brand. Um, my brother bought this. It has a uh, micro USB right here. Or actually, this is a mini USB, isn't it? Yep. Mini USB, I thought it was micro. And we got the Xbox plugged into it. There's a little board in here. Um, that converts the HDMI signal, uh, which is a digital signal, to analog, and it will give you a an output on an old CRT TV or um, a TV that comes with RCA cables. Um, so right now we got the TV plugged in, the Xbox plugged in, and the Xbox is going to that converter to the TV. So let's turn this on and then turn on the Xbox. And there we are. Alright, so why would you want to do this? Uh, well, I'll give you an example. Is uh, maybe you grew up playing Halo back in the day. And you want to experience or recapture the memories of playing it on a CRT. Well, this is one way to do it if you don't have an original Xbox or Xbox 360 that came with RCA cables. Um, so you could play Halo on here and experience it like you would in the old days. Now, you might realize that the um, screen is pretty squished. Now, from what I figured out or tried testing with, if you go to settings here and you go to the TV and display options now you can change the resolution but CRTs don't exactly have digital resolutions like this so even if you tried to go with a, a lower resolution it doesn't really change much it's not any clearer and um, you can go to Calibrate TV and go to the next and you'll see the screen, at least on Xbox. And um, there, you're supposed to be able to adjust your TV to the right uh, display size. Now being that this is an older and cheaper CRT, um, you can play around with it as much as you want. And I have the remote, but there's no way to adjust the screen size. Also, um, I was thinking we'd try playing some games on here. Um, I will put the specs of the TV down in uh, the comments, but I just thought I'd show you this first and show you that it works. And it may not be perfect with it being squished together like this, but hey, you know, if it gets an image on the screen and you don't mind having a little bit of a squish gameplay and a, a fun time playing on a CRT, well then this will be a good option for you.
which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Look out. Let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battlemen and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. We can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy the so, as you guys can see, it plays pretty well. There's not a whole lot of latency at all. I'm not sure the exact specs on the TV. I haven't looked it up. But I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration. Uh, as you can see, I'm not a, a great Halo player at all. I've only played, uh, well, I've played through all the games except for Infinite and the uh, Wars series. I think there's one and two of Halo Wars. I don't know. But, point is, I just wanted to show you it works. It, uh, it plays pretty good. And after a while, you don't even notice that the resolution is kind of squishy in or the aspect ratio. It's uh, it's pretty normal. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. And I will have a video coming out soon of me upgrading my Dell Optiplex 7010 server. Um, and I think you guys will like that video quite a bit. So, anyways, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.